So in the first week, I kind of will envisage giving you a good uh, grounding in terms of using gender as an analytical tool in your writing, moving beyond just focusing on women, uh, although uh, women's experiences of armed conflict will be very much part of the course. Um, and I want you to start thinking about, you know, how gender op operates uh, as a, both a symbolic and a structural kind of constraint and kind of um, mode of operating in our communities and what that means in conflict and post-conflict spaces. Uh, that will involve, uh, as I said, gender as an analytical tool, thinking about gender uh, theories and their approaches to conflict and conflict spaces, uh, studying the UN Security Council's uh, resolutions on women, peace and security. There's 10 of them. You might like to have a look at them before the course starts. And then pushing our analytical thinking a little bit uh, by embracing and studying queer and decolonizing approaches uh, to gender and applying them in conflict scenarios and, and in particular also the Security Council's work. That will form uh, week one. It's going to be intense. We'll have a lot to do. Super challenging, but actually some fantastic conversations as well. In week two, as you start designing your own assignment topic, uh, I will be focusing in on a couple of case studies, in particular conflict-related sexual violence, counter-terrorism and emergency laws, and the and gendered and feminist responses to military technologies from drones to, um, you know, the move towards potentially other kinds of automated systems. Um, and throughout, uh, we will be hosting a series of online debates, running tutorial spaces for you to come and join the conversation in person or to ask me questions, uh, and a kind of lecture series that both begins and ends each academic day. Um, it should be lots of fun. Uh, there's lots to learn and lots to discuss, and I really look, look forward to having you in uh, online for the SOAS uh, Gender and Conflict Summer School. If you have got some questions, you can drop me an email and I'll reply via email. Or if you prefer, uh, we can set up a meeting time uh, and we can have a short discussion about the course and whether it's good for you. See you in the summer.